Hi, Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. So we have Microsoft Edge version 143 that has now been made available, which rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. So as always, to double check, we have this latest release. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Latest version and build 143.0.3650.66. Now there's quite a bit going on with this update. We have our security fixes and we also get a couple of new features. Now first of all, just focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. First of all, we get one edge specific security update that is rolled out for the browser. If you are using Edge on Mac, so it's for Mac and it's a spoofing vulnerability that's been patched. And then for the open source Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, this would also include our weekly security fixes, which totaled 13 security fixes that rolled out. And out of the 13 security flaws that have been fixed, four are high severity, which is rated just below critical, and they are listed as type confusion. Two of them are listed as inappropriate implementation. And then the fourth one is use after free. And then we get a couple of mediums and lows that have been patched. So 13 security fixes in total for Chromium and one for the Edge browser itself. Now, there are a couple of new little features that have been made available in version 143. So just to go through these, the first, if we head to the PDF viewer, Microsoft says there's now undo and redo for PDF annotations. So you can now undo or redo annotation actions like highlight or ink in the new PDF viewer on Windows. So this is only for Windows in the Edge PDF viewer. So as an example, just to show you a quick example, if I just draw something on there, you'll see there's a undo here that appears now to the top left. So I can undo that and there's a redo which appears and I can redo that. So undo, redo is now available for PDF annotations. And I've always said that I do think that Microsoft Edge's PDF Reader and Viewer is one of the best out there when it comes to browser PDF readers. And then just to mention the next, because it is on a controlled rollout, Microsoft is adding protection against malicious side-loaded extensions. So the browser now will detect and revoke malicious side-loaded extensions. And Microsoft says this is a controlled feature rollout. So if you don't see this feature, check back as we continue our rollout. I'm not seeing it yet, but just making you aware that that is listed as a feature update. And then the next one is for organizations, but I'm just going to mention it. So as you may well know, if you use Alt, Shift and I in the browser, you can send feedback regarding issues and so on to Microsoft. Now, Microsoft said that Organizations that are unable to use the send feedback option in Microsoft Edge can now take advantage of a new export feature. By pressing Alt, Shift and R, you can open the feedback dialog and select diagnostic data. And Microsoft says this will then open up a pop-up window where an export button is available in the upper right corner, allowing you to download diagnostic information for support purposes. So that's for organizations. So that would be for Edge for business. And then just to mention the next one again, because it's for Edge on Mac, where Microsoft says the mini menu is triggered on websites and PDFs on text selection and has basic actions like copy and smart actions like definitions. Just take note, though, that Microsoft says this feature now has been removed on Mac devices starting in Microsoft Edge version 143. So mini menu is no more after this update if you are running the browser on Mac. And then the last one, and then the last new feature came as quite a surprise because I actually didn't even see this in preview and suddenly it was in the stable where we now get, if we head to the top left, we get a tab search, which is that little upside down chevron here to the top left. And you click on that, looking very similar to what we see in other Chromium based web browsers. Now, Microsoft says tab search helps you stay organized by letting you quickly find and reopen recently closed tabs or search across all open ones in a single view. So you can search through your open tabs, the tabs that are open and you're recently closed. Now just take note though, that from the same menu, Microsoft says you can also enable vertical tabs. You 
you can access the AI powered organized tabs. And you can also open your workspaces. And workspaces has also got its own designated toggle as well. Now, it's a little bit different to how it was. If we head over to Canary, I'll show you what it did, did look like before this update rolled out. So if we head to the top left, this is what it used to look like. You would have your workspaces. And then you would have your tab actions menu. Now that's all been combined into tab search. Workspaces and tab search has got those other options available now as well. And I personally think I think this is a better layout and a better idea. But nonetheless, tab search has now arrived with version 143. And then something that wasn't mentioned in the change log, which I've only seen on one of my devices. Just to bring this to your attention, if you are also noticing this, is that if we head to the profile, there used to be a settings toggle here where you could open up your settings. So just quickly heading back to Canary to show you what I'm talking about. If you click on the profile, you can head straight into your settings. Now on my Windows 11 device, after this update, that toggle has been removed, but it's still available on my Windows 10 device. So I don't know if that's a bug or if that's something Microsoft has actually changed or is starting to change. But nonetheless, just bring your attention to that. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest release of Microsoft Edge version 143, which rolled out late yesterday on the 4th of December in my region. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.